Wait, I totally blacked out. What are we doing? Hey, my name is Nick and today we're fat washing. Fat washing is a technique that's been around for a little bit inside of bars. The essential practice of it is you're infusing the flavors of fat into your spirit. So fat meaning it could be butter, oil. Some people have used animal fat. Today we're gonna focus on stuff you might find in your pantry. So we're gonna be making a coconut oil rum and then an olive oil gin as well. All right, so here's where it starts to get super technical. I'm totally fucking with you. It's a really, really easy process. Step one, uh, four parts of your spirit with one part of your oil. This is just a template. It doesn't work the exact same for all oils, but for these two, tried and true, one part to four parts. We're gonna grab our vessel. This can be anything, glass jar, mason jar, whatever. We're just gonna wanna make sure that you can cover it later on. We're gonna start with our rum. We're gonna do two cups of rum. And when it comes to the selection of the rum that you're doing, it's personal preference. It's really, really up to you. You really can't make a bad decision when it comes to coconut and rum being together. Now we're going to add our half cup of coconut oil. Nice. So you can already see the oil start to separate. It starts forming some cool textures over top. So, got our coconut oil done. Once you set it aside, you really don't need to do too much to it. You can agitate it a little bit, just honestly like a little swirl every now and then. Does the trick fine. The alcohol pulls the flavors, the textures, uh, all, all really, really quickly. So don't worry about it, just let it sit there. So now we're gonna infuse our gin with the olive oil. So again, we're gonna do two cups. And the olive oil one is super easy. You don't need to heat it up. You literally don't need to do anything other than add it in to the mixture. So, half cup of this guy. Nice. All right. Again, quick little mixture. So now we got these, uh, both these guys set here. We're just gonna let it hang out for about two hours. Again, little agitation, great. If not, it'll still taste amazing. Uh, after the two hours, you're gonna pop it into the freezer. And at that point, you wanna leave it in there for at least 12 hours. So the longer it sits in there, the more flavor it's gonna pull, more texture you're gonna get from the uh, different types of oils. So make sure you give it at least 12 hours or so. We're gonna pretend like these have been sitting out for a couple hours or so. We're gonna pop these into the freezer to let sit overnight. And with the help of a little bit of movie magic, we're gonna pull out our already mixed and frozen olive oil gin and coconut rum. As I pop these guys open, you can see this one's formed a nice, like a coral reef over top. The olive oil, so this normally does it, the olive oil gets a nice little puck on top. So you can see it totally solidified. And to be honest, I would not be opposed to using these for cooking later on. Luckily, the freezing did most of the separation for us, but we gotta finish out that last little bit. If you have a cheesecloth or a super bag, who has those at home? Maybe you're mature and you have cheesecloth at home. That's great, you can use that. If not, um, a clean kitchen towel will do the job just fine. So we're gonna take our coconut oil here and we're gonna pour it right over. We're just gonna let that strain through. Now our olive oil. Because we have that little puck on top, we can give it a nice little stab beforehand. All right. All right, so we broke our puck. Same thing, now we're just gonna strain this through. So while these are straining here, just one point on to the, how the flavor starts to change here. It's really not just the flavor, the texture of the drink changes too, which is the really cool part. So, you know, think of that oily, that butteriness. Uh, it comes off in the spirit, it's creamy, rich, and it just adds a whole nother component to whatever drink that you're making. Let's give these guys a taste. Oh, that's awesome. Now you have the rich texture from the olives, a little bit of sharpness. I mean, there's a reason we do martinis with olives and whatnot. Now the rum. Oh, it's like Malibu. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Minus all the sweetness and whatnot, but still a ton of coconut flavor that comes through. This stuff is absolutely delicious. These aren't the only two spirits or oils you can use. Go crazy. Whatever you got in your pantry, uh, mix it up. Sunflower oil with tequila is really good. Sesame oil with scotch is super, super tasty. So the options are endless here. Go home, play around with it, mix up some fun stuff. And uh, yeah, so. I never know how to wrap these things up. Can we can we just drink now? <laughs>